good morning ma'am so good morning my dear children good morning ma'am good morning ma'am good morning ma'am hope so you all are fine yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am okay 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 so we are going to start today's session please mute your device if you have any doubts you can ask me after the explanation okay narendran you can keep whatever you have in your hand aside and just concentrate on what i am telling here you can okay, open any book nothing okay so ready just just look at the screen okay ma'am and if you know who has told just put your hand up i can see you here one child one teacher one book one pen can change the world i repeat one child one teacher one book and one pen can My change the world i didn't ask anyone i didn't ask anyone i'm just trying to i am just asking you to reflect reflect means what i am just asking you to think about this quote what is the meaning of this beautiful quote and who has given i just want you to put your hand up Yes, my dear Jillian. Ma'am, my Jillian. Jillian. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, tell me, Jillian. I saw your hand up. So only I'm asking you. Ma'am, ma'am, I said why? Okay, okay, okay. Bilsa, tell me, Bilsa. Malala Yousafzai. It is Malala Yousafzai. Okay. Who is that? It is Malala. Malala. Bilsa, repeat. Yusufai. Yusufai. Malala story. Okay. So today, what are we going to learn? We are going to learn all about this beautiful personality that is Malala Yusufzai. So she was the one who has given us this beautiful quote: "One child, one teacher, one book, and one pen can change the world." Hope so. You have seen Malala. Have you seen Malala? Just look at this pic. Okay. So she is. Malala. Okay. Now, what do you know more about her? I want you to tell something more about this great or beautiful personality who, at the very young age, she fought for the right of the girls for education. Okay. I'm just uh, stop sharing. Okay. Don't you know anything about this beautiful personality? Okay, Jalin, tell me. What what do you want to say, Jalil? Ma'am, uh, so many girls did not go to school, and uh, she tell they uh, they she want to go to school, and so many uh, so many people came and kill, uh, shoot her. Shot her, Jalil. You know many more things about her, but you know you should learn how to put it in correct sentences. Not only not only her, everybody should learn that. Okay, you should express your. thoughts correctly okay as jalin told she was the one who worked for the education of the girls where the girls were deprived where they were not allowed so she was shot she was assassinated what is it adulia what do you want to say ma'am uh, she spoke against the edu education of girls and she was a pakistan she hmm. spoke against no she was in the favor of the girls of education girls education am i right adulia ma'am anupama sorry anupama no adulya it is shown okay so she was in the favor of the girls education so she fought for them okay anupama just read your advice nairin tell me nairin what do you want to say ma'am the nobel committee has selected her for the precious award okay in 2014 she was selected for the nobel peace prize okay before that is there anything else you know about her no so what are we going to learn today okay anna rose has got something to say tell me anna rose what is that she was born in uh, july 12 she was born on she was born, born on, on july july 12 1997 so you can just take your textbook page number 61 you can just take your textbook page number 61 okay so we have malala malala yusuf zai So please take a pencil and write. When was she born? She was born on July twelve, nineteen ninety-seven. When was she born? She was born on
When was she born? She born. She was born on twelve July, nineteen ninety seven. Please write this. This is not there in your book. Where was she born? She was born in Mingora, a place called Mingora, in Pakistan, Swat Valley, Pakistan. Okay. Mingora Swat Valley, Pakistan. Okay. Do you know what is her father's name? Her father's name is Zia Yudin. I would like to show her, show you all her full family. So look at the pic. This is her full family. What is her father's name? Her father's name is. Ziauddin, Ziauddin. Our mother's name is. What is her mother's name? Her mother's name is Tor Pekai. Okay, Tor Pekai Yusuf Zai. Do you want to write and take? If you want to write and take, just write and take. So this is her father, Ziauddin. Is a Pakistani education activist. Activist means what? The people who work. for good cause he was working for the girls that girls should be sent to schools he was working for the education of the girls best known as the father of nobel laureate malala who protested against the tehreek e taliban pakistan opposition to the education rights of girls especially for the pakistani girls so a particular group in pakistan they were not in favor of the girls education so what did he do what is ziauddin used to do he fought he raised his voice against this particular group and he told that girls should be allowed they should be given the right for education okay so this is her father so her father had a chain of schools he had established and he had he was administrating many schools in pakistan so she studied in one of the schools what is the name of the school where she finished her high school that is kushal high school right in mingora itself she finished her education what is the name of the school it is mingo sorry it is kushal high school and she finished her college also in mingora itself in pakistan okay then when she was 10 years old something happened what was it in 2007 when she was uh, 10 years old the situation in pakistan was very worst what happened there what happened there they start a lot of violence was going on they a particular group told that children the girls should not be sent to schools they should not come out of the house they should not sing or dance we are not supposed to go to school so there was a lot of violence lot of people were killed so what did yusuf zai's family do they left the place and they went to a place where there was safety did you understand what I, are you understanding what i am telling hope so you are following in 2007 when she was 10 years old the situation was very bad worse so what did they do they were they had to leave the place the mingora swat valley where she was born and they fled to some other place for their safety but after some time they came back so in 2008 on september 1st what did she do she gave her first speech when she was 11 years old just like you just like you when she was 11 years old she gave her the first speech what was the topic how dare the taliban take away my basic right to education how dare the taliban take away my basic right to education this was the topic on which she spoke at the age of 11 then along with her father they started working especially for the girls education especially for the pakistani girls then then what happened on october 9 2012 she was assassinated what is the meaning of assassinated she was shot so when october 9 on october 9 2012 
she was assassinated assassinated means she was shot a person got inside the bus school bus see after the school bus what do we do what did i do what do you do you just get inside the school bus and just go on talking with your friends about the things which happened in the school or, or the homework or something like that so she also was discussing about the activities which had taken place on the particular day and a man suddenly got inside the bus and he asked who is malala when she told i am the one she was shot in the head and in the shoulder so she was seriously injured but her spirits were very high she was very bold enough it is not an easy task you know when uh, when the people are against you when this particular group is just against the education of the girls but uh, malala and her father ziauddin they stood strongly they stood strongly and they fought for the right of education of all the girls of all the children so she was shot but she recovered right she recovered from all the things and in 2014 what happened in 2014 she was awarded the precious award what is the name of the precious award it is nobel prize for peace okay look at this pic so in 2014 she was given the precious award what is the precious award the nobel prize for peace now you just tell me why was she given this Now, whoever knows the answer can put the hand up. Why was she given? Maybe at the age of seventeen, she was only seventeen years old when she received this greatest honor of a Nobel Prize for Peace. Why was she honored with this? Nairin, any idea? Why? Because she worked. right she worked for a cause what was that cause she worked for the people she worked for the society she worked for the children and she worked for the education of people yes especially for the education she fought she brought about a change in the world in the place where she lived so she wanted peace all over the world so only she was awarded she underwent so many things within a short span of time from, from childhood she she, uh, she started it okay right from the beginning right from the childhood she started because her father was in the Mom. same field. so, so she, she was shot jail in one minute so she was she was you know so interested she had that thirst for knowledge yes i want education not only me all the girls like me should be educated each one has got the right to be educated she did not think only Man. about herself was she selfish no she was not self selfish she thought about all the other children that everybody should get a chance to go to school and she wanted peace all over the world she did not use violence only through non violence she tried to bring about a change so only she was awarded the nobel peace nobel prize for peace in the year 2014 along with another personality what is the name of that another personality there look at this pic do you know who is ma'am is it who is talibas look at understand my question i am asking who is that person whom you see on your screen ma'am alala that i know anupama yeah. anupama ma after that malala i'm asking the other person that's what i told na the, the another person whom you see on the screen kailas satyarthi who is that he is kailas satyarthi uh, you come across this ma this beautiful personality in your book so on the same day they received the nobel prize for peace for the same cause she was 17 years old and kailas satyarthi worked for more than 30 years for the children he was a he is an activist who works for the children he has saved many children thousands of children from child labor and trafficking right right he fought for the he has fought for the education of the children see kaila satyarthi is an indian social reformer just listen he is an indian social reformer who 
campaigned, who worked against child labor. He worked against child labor in India and he was, he told, he advocated the universal right to education. What is the meaning of universal right to education means everyone should be given education. So he is Kaila Satyarthi, Indian social reformer who worked or campaigned against child labor. Yes, till now, do you have any doubts? Yes, ma'am. Tell me, tell me. Just put your hand up. Ma'am, so Malala Yousafzai was shot, get shot in young, in a childhood. Yes, my dear. Yes, on in two thousand. Did she die? No, my dear. That's what I told. She recovered. She was shot in the year two thousand and twelve. But in two thousand fourteen, she got the Nobel Peace Prize. So, how do you think that nothing might have happened to her? She came back. She recovered. Okay. No, no, she. So, hope so. You got an idea about this beautiful personality and the great personality. Did you, did you get an idea? You just show me a thumbs up if you have got an idea. Yes, very good. Now, if you want to know more about her, what should you do? She has written a beautiful book. What is the name of the book? I am Malala. I am Malala, the girl who stood up for education and was shot by the Taliban. So if you want to collect any other information, I have given you a lot of information if you, uh, if you have listened properly. So if you want to know more things, you can just read this book, I am Malala, right? Now there is a fund called Malala Fund. Okay, what do the people do? It is an organization. It is an international organization that works for the girls' education. Did you understand? What is that? What is she running now? She, uh, Malala Fund, it is an international organization which, is, uh, which works for the girls' education. It was co-founded by her, by Malala Yousafzai. Means her father and uh, Malala, both of them co-founded it. Then, then nothing. So if you want to know more about, you read the book, I am Malala. Now quickly take your English textbook, page number 61. Now, the part which is given in your textbook is a speech which she gave on the stage when she received the Nobel Prize for Peace. Did you understand? Do you understand what is printed in your book is a speech? Yes, ma'am. The speech which she delivered on the day in 2014 when she was receiving the Nobel Prize for Peace. Now, please take the page number 61. Dear sisters and brothers, Fia, Fia, do you have the textbook with you? Please have the textbook with you. Listen, look into your textbook. Today is a day of great happiness for me. I am humbled that the Nobel Committee has selected me for this precious award. So what is she telling? She's telling today is a day of great happiness. Is it not such a proud moment for her parents, for her and for her country? And uh, for the people at a very engaged, at the age of 17, she got the Nobel Prize for Peace. And she's thanking, she's addressing dear sisters and brothers. It's such a great moment for me. I am humbled that the Nobel Committee has selected me for this precious award. What is that precious award she's talking about? The yeah, Nobel then. Prize. And she's thanking the, whom is she thanking? She's thanking the Nobel Committee people for selecting her. Thank you for every, thank you, thank you to everyone for your continued support and love. So when she started working, working or campaigning for the uh, girls' education all around, all over the world, the people would send her a lot of letters and cards. Okay, encouraging her, inspiring her. So she's thanking all those people for your continuous support and love. Thank you for the letters and cards that I still receive from all around the world. So she says, thank you for the cards and the letters still which I receive. Your kind and encouraging words strengthen and inspire me. So your kind words encourage me and motivate me. Then I would like to thank my parents for their unconditional love. What is the meaning of unconditional love? Unconditional love means without any conditions. Now look at your own parents. Now I as a parent, do I have any condition in loving my own children? No, we don't have any conditions, right? Will your parents say, ah, if you get so and so result only, then only I will. No, no, mm -hmm. am I right? No, they don't have any conditions. 
they are simply you know uh, selflessly means they without any selfish motive they love so unconditional means what not limited in any way what is the meaning of unconditional not limited in any way you can just underline the word unconditional thank you to my father for not clipping my wings what is the meaning of clipping now once your mother puts the clothes for drying what does she do clip the clothes she, she clips the why why so the clothes why it doesn't fall it doesn't fly what is an irene what do you want to say ma'am i wanted to say the answer for clipping my wings okay nairi so clipping my wings means what a way of saying that he did not stop her who did not stop her malala's father did not stop her doing what she wanted to do he gave her the freedom to decide for herself so what did malala's father do he gave full support love and allowed her supported her and allowed her to decide whatever she wanted because he knew that she was on the right path thank you to my mother for inspiring me to be patient so from mother what has she learned she has learned how to be patient look at these mothers these mothers they don't get easily angry at certain times we get angry apart from that or oh, just we try to ignore just be cool so from mother what has she learned she has learned the quality of being patient and always speak the truth so her mother has taught her to speak only the truth and also thank you to all my wonderful teachers who inspired me to believe in myself and to be brave so she is thanking all the wonderful teachers who who inspired her to believe in herself now see each one is unique am i right each one is unique there is no carbon copy there is no photostat of now i i my i or you we all are unique not you me everybody is unique there is no photostat now nairin nairin means only nairin is nairin is there of his kind there may be other children with the same name but we don't get any other nairin with the same personality with the same attitude habits everything so each one is unique right so she thanks her teachers for inspiring her to believe in herself yes you can do it and to be brave okay any doubts no ma'am no doubt now when i am teaching are you getting little at least motivation this girl at the very young age she started right so you also can do many more things in life right i am not asking you to fight against anyone right in yes, your own way whatever you can do please do it especially yes. education now look at this girl how much she struggled for her education now look at you it is given without any condition right you are getting it the best education available you are getting it so please make use of the opportunity learn well study well and be successful in life education is the strongest tool right most important tool in life which helps us to be successful right whatever you are learning put your heart and soul put your 100% and learn clear that much you can yes. do am i right can't you yes ma'am you are right yes ma'am okay i am proud well in fact i am very proud to be first pashtun pashtun means what people who live in southern afghanistan and northwest pakistan speak pashto okay a language so she is telling i am i am very proud to be the first pashto in the first pakistani and the youngest person to receive this award she is the youngest person at the age of 17 the first pakistani girl to receive this award i am also honored to receive this award together with kailash satyarthi who has been a champion for children's rights for a long time so look at the board as i told you he is kailash satyarthi he is kailash satyarthi who got the nobel prize for peace in the same year when malala got what was the year which was the year which was the year do you remember in 2040 and in 2040 so what is the meaning of champion champion means what a person who supports or defends a person or an idea yeah. as i told you why did kaila satyarthi got a nobel prize for peace who is going to tell me just put the hand up 
I had given you a small introduction about this great personality in the beginning. I just want you to tell me why was he awarded this precious award of Nobel Prize for Peace? Jalin Shaiju, tell me. Jalin Shaiju, you have to unmute your device. Yes, ma'am. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Tell me. Ma'am, uh, uh, he was... Uh, he was, uh, he fighted, uh, he to fought, he fought, not fighted, he fought, yes, he fought to child, uh, child labor and he fought against child labor, uh, against child labor. Okay, my dear, thank you, Jelly. Nairin, tell me, Nairin, unmute your device and tell me, ma'am, Kailia uh, Satyarthi, he oh. fought against child's rights. Um, he protected more than 83,000 children from 144 uh, countries. Okay, okay. Good, my dear Nairin. Jalin, Jalin Elizabeth, tell me, what do you want to say? Ma'am, uh, ma he fought against child rights, all the child rights, and he, he fought helped. for the children education, that all the children should be educated. He advocated for universal education, right? What did I say? He is an Indian social reformer, right? What did I say? He is an Indian social reformer. He was for universal child labor. He has saved thousands of children from child labor and child trafficking. And he is of the idea that the children should be given the basic education. Now look at this screen. So she says, I am very honored to receive this award along with Kaila Satyati, who has been a champion. Champion means what? A person who supports an idea for children's rights. Children's rights means laws that have been passed to keep children safe and educated. See, since we have this kind of people in a society in the world, then only we get all these kinds of facilities. Now you just imagine if these kind of people are not there in our society who fight for someone, what is going to happen, right? So he is a person who fought against child labor, child trafficking, and she says, I'm very honored and proud to receive this award along with Kaila Satyarthi. Twice as long, in fact, than I have been alive. Who's going to give me the meaning of this line? Twice as long, in fact, than I have been alive. Means what? How old was Malala? Um, she means that no. uh, she was shot by uh, a man. So, so he, my dear Jalim, she... please excuse me. Please excuse me. Please mute your device. How old was Malala when she received the award? She was 17 years 17 old. Years. 17 so, years old. More than three decades. More than 30 year, years he has been working for the children. So she says... She is 17. What is 17 into 2? 17 into 2 is 30. What is 17 into 2? Mama, what is the page number of this chapter? 32. 37. 34. Am I right? 17 into 2? Yes, ma'am. Uh, now, my, my mathematics is better than yours. So what is 17 into 2? 34. She 34. Says, I am only 17 when I got this received. But look at this great personality who has worked more than my age. Just not more than just double of my age for a good cause. What is that cause? Saving the children from the child labor and trafficking. Right? Then she says, I am pretty certain that now look at this. Along with that, along with all Hello? of that. Hello. Yes, sir. Okay. So what was I telling? Along with that, along with all of that, I am pretty certain that I am also the first recipient of the Nobel Peace Prize who still fights with her anger brothers. What is the fun here? There is some fun here. Before that, let me give the meaning of recipient. What is the meaning of recipient? Recipient means a person who receives or is awarded something is called a recipient. She says, I am the first recipient. I am the first person who is receiving the word for peace, but still 
but I am the one at home who fight with my brothers. Clear? Did you understand the joke here? See here. I am also the first recipient of the Nobel Peace Prize who still fights with her anger brothers. She says, though I am receiving the award at home, I still fight with my anger brothers. Did you understand? She's receiving the award for the peace, but at home, how is she? She's just a normal person fighting with her. And peace and yes. fighting. Yes, yes, Jalil. I want there to be peace everywhere. So what is her idea? She wants that peace exists everywhere. She wants peace everywhere. But my brothers and I are still working on that. She says, I want peace everywhere. But at home, I and my two brothers, we are still working on that. Means at home, right, we don't have peace. But I am getting the award for peace. Did you understand? Did you yes, understand? ma'am. Yes, uh, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, understand. understand. I understood. Anupama understood. Okay. I okay. understood. Till here, do you have any doubts? No, no ma'am. No doubt. Okay. Quickly, let no, me revise. No, whoever knows the answer, just put the hand up. When was she born? When was Malala born? When was Malala? Malala? Jalin, Jalin, I didn't ask you. I, I told you just put your hand up. Shahad, where is Shahad? Shahad, my dear, please give me the answer. When was uh, Malala born? Yes, ma'am. She was born in 1997. Born on, born on. She was born on July 12, 1997. Am I right? What is her father's name? Anaros? Shahad, my dear, good. Thank you for answering. What is the father's name? Who is going to give me the father's Ma name? Zia Zia-Uddin. zia How many brothers Zia. does she have? How many brothers two. does she have? Two. 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 two brothers. Two. One minute. Sorry, Jenny, ma'am. Please mute your device. Mute your device. Just put your hand up. Adi Lakshmi, how many brother does she, brothers does she have, my dear? She had two brothers. She has. She has two brothers. Okay. When was she assassinated? When she was, when was she shot? In which year? I gave you the year and the date also when I was teaching. Right? Helen Tito. Tell, tell me, Helen Tito. October 19, 2012. Is it October 19 or 9? October 9. Yeah. October 9, 2009. 2009. 12. And when did she get this Nobel Prize for Peace? In which year? In which year? Adi Lakshmi, in which year did she get, my dear? 2014. In 2014, she was awarded with the precious award. Okay, it is a, such a precious award in 2014. And how old was she? She was only, she was only. 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17, 17. So it's already time up. Do you have any doubts? So quickly look at the screen again. Look at the screen again. Look at the beautiful quote which she gave. What is that? One, yes. One child, one teacher, one book, and one pen can change the world. Then this is her father. This all I'll tell you in the next class. So this is Malala, whom are we talking about? And Malala and Kaila Satyarthi on the day when she got the, when they got the Nobel Prize for Peace, then when she was shot right in her head and the shoulder, but her spirits were very high. She came back, she recovered. Okay. So this is her family. This is her heaven who supported her, who is supporting her. As I told you, she has got an organization called Malala Fund, which works for the education of the girls. Hope so, you understood, right? Do you have yes, any doubts? Yes, ma'am, No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Shall I wind up? Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma